Hi all, a great morning to all. This is VC here from VC's Academy. In today's class, we will discuss about pyramid of number. In my earlier classes, we have discussed about ecological pyramids and what are ecological pyramids, what is pyramid of biomass and now we will see what is pyramid of number. Pyramid of numbers. Biologists are not only interested in studying the food relationships which exist between living things but also in comparing the numbers of organisms at each link in the chain. So when we talk about pyramid of number or pyramid of biomass or a food chain or a food pyramid, there is a relationship between living organisms at different levels in the food chain or the pyramid. So biologists are interested not only in studying the relationship between the food but also about comparing the number of organisms which are present at each level in the food chain or food pyramid. Here is an example of food web to make estimates of comparative number of organisms present at each stage of the chain. So here we can see an example for food web. The comparison needs to involve the use of such terms as most, many, several, few and scarce. So what are the terms we use in order to compare? The terms which we use are most, many, several, few and scarce. The number of organisms in a food chain can be represented graphically in a pyramid shape. So as I have earlier mentioned, the number of organisms in a food chain can be represented graphically using a pyramid. Each bar represents the number of individuals at each trophic level in the food chain. So each bar represents the number of individuals at each trophic level in the food chain. That's what the role of the bars or the trophic levels in the food chain. Each link in a food chain from the first order consumers to the large carnivores, there is normally an increase in size but decrease in number. And if you observe the food chain from consumers to the carnivores or from the producers to carnivores, we will see that there is increase in size but decrease in number. For example, forest as an example. The fits are very small and occur in astronomical numbers. So what the example we are taking here, we are taking the forest in which aphids are very small and occur in astronomical numbers that which we cannot count. The ladybirds which feed on them are distinctly larger and not so numerous. So when we compare the ladybirds which feed on these aphids are distinctly larger but they are less in number when compared to the aphids and the insectivorous birds which feed on the ladybirds are larger still and are only present in small numbers as we are talking about the grade level or the next level the size is increasing but the number is decreasing and there may only be a single pair of hawks of much larger size than the insectivorous birds on which they prey so when we come to the top level or the topmost carnivore in this food chain, the hawks may be very less and that may be a couple or two. This relationship is best known or best shown as a pyramid which is upright. So once again, if you take an example of a forest, what all are present here? Aphids are present, ladybirds are present, insectivorous birds are present and Hawks. Aphids are astronomical in number and they, they come under the primary consumers or initial consumers which are fed by ladybirds and these ladybirds become the food for insectivorous birds and these insectivorous birds become food for hawks and this pyramid is always upright. Sometimes the pyramid of number does not look like a pyramid at all. So when we see in a tree or in some other ecosystems, the pyramid of number does not look like a pyramid at all. So we can see the example of a tree here. This could happen 
if the producer is a large plant such as a tree or if one of the organism at any trophic level is very small so here the producer itself is a big tree and the consumers will be in less number so keep one thing always in mind that whatever the situation the producer still goes at the bottom of the pyramid whatever the pyramid may be or whatever the shape of the pyramid may be but keep in mind that always the producers will be at the bottom of the pyramid or we have to place the pyramid at the bottom level only